good morning happy comp day oh my gosh i feel like i need to turn my head sideways because if i'm straight on then i look like i'm just like a little egg and don't have hair i promise it's just because i have a bun in because i'm ready to dance um so getting right into it we have one comp for CBU dance in Anaheim in February that's our USA nationals and then we have NDA nationals in Daytona in April and because we're competing the same routines our coach doesn't want us to like release the videos until after April so you'll have to wait sorry they won't be in this vlog but stay tuned for Daytona but this vlog is actually going to be kind of fun because I'm going to like talk to you guys about like what a day in the life of a comp day looks like for me of like my routine getting ready which none of which I'm going to talk to you about today has happened this morning um which I think the lesson in that is like I mean really for a competition day all you need is your costume your shoes and to like leave it all out on the floor and like do your best like it doesn't matter what the routine is leading up to that of course you want it to be like organized and like take your time not feel rushed but None of that happened today, but the lesson in that is make it work, like just pull yourself together, which I'm very proud of myself. I was still able to get it all done. Basically, long story short, what happened yesterday was I wanted to get my nails done before comp and I always get them done like in my hometown. So I like drove down for the day and it's been like pouring rain recently. I went like unintentionally off-roading. Basically my GPS rerouted me into like these hills, like steep hills, and it was a dirt path just like windy road and it was like narrow too like a car could not pass me there was no one around and it was it's pouring rain and so i like was just driving and then all of a sudden my car got stuck in mud and so i was just stuck there like no one was around and so thankfully i was able to get a tow truck to save me and then i was able to go home and get my nails done but i'm like probably should have just stayed at school and so then I was at home and I realized that it was dark, it's still pouring rain on the news. It said that there's like dips where it's like five feet of just like water and like cars are getting stuck in it and I'm just like, I think I'll just have to spend the night here and just wake up tomorrow morning and drive to CBU, get to my dorm and get ready there. So I was up very early this morning. I was up at like 3.30 a.m. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and mind you, I like had nothing with me last night either because I was just planning on like going to my hometown just to get my nails done, like a day trip. So I didn't have like my toiletries or like a change of clothes. I literally had like nothing with me, but we made it work. I came down here. I was able to get ready for comp. I'm going to meet my coach soon at the bus to take us to Anaheim for our competition. But anyways, getting into my routine of like what a normal getting ready for comp day routine would look like um i want to say around like eighth grade i started taking dance really serious i mean i've been dancing since two years old but around eighth grade i really wanted to make my high school dance team which is super competitive they've won so many championships while i was on team too um but i just really wanted that like that was my goal and then from there i got recruited to my CBU dance collegiate division one dance team which I'm so blessed to be on so I started taking dance super serious in eighth grade and I've always been the type of person who puts a lot of pressure on myself especially on comp days and I mean just like anyone else I think everyone has nerves but I think some people handle their nerves a little differently I've come to realize some people like to get rid of their nerves like my friends in high school they would just kind of like to goof around and like talk to each other before their performance. I am more of the person who wants to just be in the zone and like respectfully and like the nicest way possible just like don't talk to me because I like to just go over the routines in my head and like again like be in the zone. So, And also like I said earlier I have to like have a comp day routine. I don't believe in superstition more than anything I just pray before I go on and I just want to do my best to honor God and I mean he already knows like what the outcome is going to be of like what our place will be but even then it's not about the winning I personally just want to walk off that stage proud of myself knowing I gave all the glory to God I did my absolute best I could and left everything out on the floor and I couldn't give anything more but I mean I do want more rings so as for my morning routine I always spray tan ahead of time I get my nails done which you heard about earlier <laughs> ahead of time and then I also do my hair normally the night before but again this has been a 
abnormal day, I had to do it here instead. Normally I do it the night before because I like to not be rushed in the morning. I like to just take my time. So it saves me time if I could just do my hair like super slick the night before I sleep on it. I'm a pretty sound sleeper where I don't roll around a lot. It kind of just stays in place. Like I'll just have to like spray a few like little pieces in the morning, but for the most part, normally I'll do my hair the night before and then I just have like to worry about doing my makeup in the morning, which saves me time. But again, that did not happen today. I had to do both in the morning. And then while I'm doing my makeup in the mornings, I always, this has been like a tradition ever since like whenever this movie came out, I think. It's like my comp day thing because it's just kind of like a relaxing movie. But I always watch, well, more like listen to while I'm getting ready, the movie Finding Dory. I don't even know how this started, but it's been like a thing. I like watch it on every single comp day as I'm getting ready. It's honestly kind of embarrassing. <laughs> But today, I watched Outer Banks instead because my morning routine was already like so messed up. I'm like, at this point, I don't even feel like watching Finding Dory and Outer Banks season three just came out. And so I was like, I wanna watch that instead, so. Breakfast wise on a comp day, I don't normally like to eat a whole lot before because I don't wanna like, I wanna feel light for when I dance. And so I'll just have like a protein bar and like a Celsius for caffeine. Um, but today, again, not normal. Um, we're not dancing till later, so I needed like a bigger meal, like a breakfast slash lunch. So I got an acai bowl. It was very yummy. And then like later for like dinner and stuff, like our school is so blessed. We get like catered Panera and I think like tomorrow we're getting Panera again and like they have our orders already. And then I think on the way home, we're getting like Chipotle on the bus or something, so. Fun fact, comps always make me sick. I think it's just the leading up anxiety or something. Um, my senior year of high school, I had a competition at Glendale that I remember very distinctly. Um, I had so much day quill in me that the nerves that I normally have at a comp day almost just kind of went away. And so that was the best I'd ever done my solo. <laughs> and I actually placed like really well too. So it's just kind of like a running joke where it's like, well, maybe I, maybe I just need to take day quill before um, every time I compete. Just kidding, don't do that. But anyways, that was just like a funny story. And then last year in Daytona, again, comps, I'm just sick. For once, I'm not sick. I was sick about two weeks ago in, in these vlogs. If you remember, I was very like nasally when I was talking, now I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I. I always get sick and so when I was in Daytona I already had day quill that morning but for some reason in in Daytona I had like swollen eyes for a whole week so I, I took some Tylenol to try and fix my eyes but I also had that combined with my day quill from that morning and I didn't know that the Tylenol would make me drowsy and so I had told my mom I was like uh, yeah, I took some day quill this morning and then I also had a Tylenol for my eyes and she she made a face she's like like a worried face and I'm like what and she's like nothing you're gonna you're gonna do great and I'm like okay and then afterwards she told me she's like yeah like so it made you tired huh because I did not do the best in prelims because I was just like basically drugged because I had too much like medicine in me like the Tylenol made me drowsy it just it was a whole mess and so anyways um learned that lesson I redeemed myself in finals the next day it, w it still wasn't bad from prelims it just wasn't my best she knew that I could have done better so anyways comps make me sick thank goodness today I feel really good another thing I always love to have in my bag for comps is sour candy a lot of us do it it's just because like obviously it's sugar it's gonna make you crash later but like before you go on it's gonna give you like a good kick and just it's fun another thing that I always have in my bag is my airpods or beats because again like just listening to your music like either on the bus drive down there or like when you're walking in past the other teams it's like really good to be in the zone another thing that i think most people who are not dancers won't get this but the attachment we have to our shoes <laughs> like it's a thing that before you get ready for comp you need to like have that at least one week of breaking in your new shoes because like you can't just like go out and like a new pair of shoes they need to be kind of like broken in ahead of time and so because it's like Again, I don't believe in superstition, but it's like sometimes we will have our old shoes and we're like, but th these shoes I did like so well, like I did so many turns in them. What if these new shoes like throw me off? So it's like, that's another thing is luckily my shoes are all broken into and ready to dance in today. Another thing that I like to have, I don't have it with me today, but I have this little bear. It's like from Build-A-Bear. Its name is Fetty. I didn't name it. It's from like my high school competition days. Um, the seniors gave it to me when I was a freshman and they named it that for some reason. 
person um but it's this little bear and it had like this little like shirt that said like my high school dance team's name and then when i moved to cbu i got it this little like bear hoodie that says cbu dance on it and so it's super cute it comes with me normally to every competition i left it at home unfortunately but I, it's just like great i always love stuffed animals and it's like nice to like hug and like get all your nerves out and then i also love essential oils so i'll like put those on my neck but i'll also put it on like the ears of the bear so that way when i'm holding it i like smell the essential oils and it like calms me down and then also a cute thing is like it's my competition bear and i always give it like a little kiss before i go on and so it has like little lipstick marks on its nose so that's a super cute little thing earlier i said that i like to be quiet and in the zone before a performance but right before we go on we do this in college and we did this in my high school dance team but we always have like the captain or like the fourth year or senior um lead like a group chant before we go on and that like really just like releases my nerves and like shows like that we're all bonded as a team and like ready to do this together lay it all out on the floor and so i really like our team chants too I think that's all for like a comp day routine for me. Um, sorry if I was like talking kind of fast. I'm like kind of in a rush. I need to go meet my team now for the bus because we're gonna leave soon. So wish me luck. I'm probably not gonna vlog. I'm probably not gonna vlog too much. Probably nothing. I don't even wanna be on my phone today because that's rude to the team. I wanna be like in the zone and just focus on myself and getting this job done, getting all of our dances performed and do well. Um, I did ask my mom though to like, just get some content of whatever she feels like she wants to video so we'll see what she gets i'll add those clips in here and then my dad is also taking pictures which you can probably see on my instagram so also we're returning champions and this is supposed to be the biggest usa competition they've ever had so let's go show them who cbu dance is and let's go get more rings baby <laughs> Yesterday we got two first places, today's finals for some of our other dances, let's go get more rings! another day another win got first in another dance today and i'm very excited about that um but overall all of our dances just did so well um like from prelims to today in finals like our scores bumped up tremendously so i'm so proud of all my teammates i'm proud of myself because like i said earlier all that really matters to me like besides the placement like you can only control what you put out there you can't control who's competing against you at the end of the day i just want to walk off that stage and know that i did my best so I definitely feel that way and from that I'm so excited to go to Daytona and take these dances there and see how we do but just so blessed to be a part of this team. USA Nationals was so fun and let's bring it Daytona! I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little USA Nationals vlog even though you couldn't see my dances. I hope you enjoyed the talking part in the beginning of like hearing what a comp day looks like to me and like getting ready for a comp day in the morning and stuff so anyways i know this probably wasn't the most fun vlog especially if you're not a dancer but stay tuned for the daytona vlog coming in april because that's like a whole week like obviously we're flying there and then we have like some free days too where we can like 
go to the beach or shop and stuff so there will definitely be more like vlogging opportunities there and if you watch the show cheer on netflix navarro goes there so i'll try to get some clips with them anyways thank you guys so much for watching stay bold stay faithful and i'll see you guys in the next one